So, we're ready for chapter three. In chapter three, we're going to use that model of production possibility frontiers. And we're going to use it to illustrate one big point. The big point is that whoever has lower marginal costs of production should produce a product. And when we're thinking about deciding how to allocate scarce resources between the production two products, this becomes really important. We call this idea of lower marginal cost of production comparative advantage. So if I have lower marginal cost of production, if I have a comparative advantage in the, produce, in the production of one good, and you have the comparative advantage in the production of another good, we'll get the most stuff if we each choose to produce the thing that we're relatively good at, that we have the comparative advantage in, and then exchange some of it with each other. That will allow us each to escape our own individual limits of production and for each of us to have more stuff.